All right, guys, let's make some pie crust today. Pie crust is a very deep tradition in Oklahoma and Texas and other parts of the South. Pie crust recipes have been passed on from generation to generation. They're very secret. If you ask somebody for their pie crust recipe, you might as well be asking them if they cheat on their taxes or cheat on something else. You don't do that. To tell you how serious pie crust recipes are, in church one time years ago, a lady stood up to confess her sins. I was kind of hoping and expecting something carnal. You know, a good juicy story. No, she got up with tears in her eyes and explained how she had stolen someone's pie recipe 30 years ago, had won some contests with it, and is now famous for her pie crust. That's how serious it is. She wanted to get this right before she went to her maker. I got my mother's recipe, I watched her, she never really gave this to me, but I watched her do it and it works out pretty well, it's pretty easy, and there's only four ingredients. We've got butter, ice water, salt, and of course, flour. So to begin with, we're gonna start with one and one third cup of flour. There's one, okay, and here is the third. And to this, we're gonna add just a pinch of salt over here. A little salt in there, not much. And here I've got a stick of butter, good old butter. And I've cut this butter up into little pieces here, one stick, and we're gonna put that in here. Then we're just gonna kind of move it around and get the butter kind of moving around in here. Now that butter will give this pie crust a great flavor, and we wanna keep it in pieces, but not quite that big of pieces. So we're gonna take this little mashing machine that I've got here, and we're just gonna go bang, 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 and really get with it in here. Now just a little ice water, okay? We'll just do this a little at a time and we'll start working it around in here. And you're gonna to get to a nice little kind of soft mixture in just a second. Now we don't wanna work this too much, as little as possible, because the more you work it, the more that it's gonna be a tough crust. You need that light crust dough touch to this, so overworking will keep you from doing that. Okay, now maybe a little flour here on the um, counter and we'll take this now and kind of work it around a little to get it a nice little ball. Kind of round it up, we didn't overwork it and there it is, look at this. Hmm? See that, I want you to see that texture there, kind of spongy, how that works. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we've got to cool it off so we're gonna get a little glad wrap here. Glad, glad, glad. Put this over this, and we're gonna let it cool down in the fridge. Because when you've got cold dough, uh, or cool dough, it'll work pretty good. But if it's nice and fresh like this, it just needs to get into the fridge. Got it? Got it, okay. So now we'll put this in the fridge, and I'll get some out here that I've made this morning and I've got it in the fridge. We'll take it off, nice and cool, and we're gonna turn this into a nice pie crust. Put just a touch of flour on this. Yeah, and we're gonna move it around with our hands into a circle. You might wanna turn it over a couple of times. And once we've got this going, then we will take our little roller, start rolling it out. Now, okay, try to keep it in a circle. It's not always easy to do. I'll tell you something, guys. In Mama Mabel's kitchen, you didn't see canned fruit, and you sure as heck didn't see pie crust already pre-made. I think somebody brought this by our house one time when we were kids, and we used it as edible Play-Doh. Mom would never have this round. Honestly, I felt shame and embarrassed when I had to go to the store to buy these as props. What if somebody saw me doing this? They might think that Mama Mabel's boy is not the real deal. And by the way, for pie filling, uh, we use good old Oklahoma raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, and of course, peaches. All fresh grown in that nice sandy soil in Oklahoma. It was just great. Not the best circle in the world, is it, guys? 
Okay. Well, let's see what we've got here. You can take your pie plate, kind of set it about right there. Yep, that's gonna work. Okie doke. So now, watch this little trick. We'll take our roller here and roll up the pie dough on the roller. Put our pie plate here. Then we will just come back in and roll it back over the plate. Look at that. And then we'll just kind of move it around in here. Press it gently down. You don't want to tear the dough. Push it down against the edges. This is a nice thick pie dough. It's a lot thicker than this stuff, I'll tell you for sure. Can you believe that lady? She carried that gills around for 30 years over a stolen pie crust recipe. That's how serious they take this stuff down in Oklahoma and Texas. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of scissors, kind of give this thing a little haircut. Come around the edge here. See how that's shaping up? That's looking good, isn't it? Now, the artistic touch. I gotta be honest, this is not my best part, but we wanna pinch this just a little bit on the way around to give it a little texture and that nice Marie calendar look or whatever. A little pinch, 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 and there we have it. We've got a pie crust. How about that? Nice, huh? Now, as a sequel, nothing ever went to waste in Mama Mabel's kitchen. Nothing. So we're going to take this excess pie dough here, going to kind of move it out a little bit. All right, now watch this. We're going to take a pan here and we're going to rub a little, take a little soft butter here, kind of rub that across the top of that pie dough. And then we're going to take the pie dough, put a little sugar. We're going to Take some cinnamon. Now, once we have this, we'll take something that we never had in mom's kitchen, pizza cutter. Cut this in nice strips and lift them up. Put them in a pan. See this? Okay. Cinnamon strips in a pan, excess pie dough. Nothing ever went to waste in Mama Mabel's kitchen. It just didn't happen. So we're going to pop these in the oven for about 15 minutes or so at about 350 degrees, and we're gonna have nice cinnamon strips. My friend Hal made an observation about cinnamon sticks that his mom used to make too after her pie crust. Think of the millions and millions and millions of kids who never had this. If they had had these cinnamon strips, the world would be a lot better place. Maybe politicians ought to learn that. All right, let's check out these little cinnamon strips. These little pieces of goodness that could save the world. Oh yeah, here we go. Check this out, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, tasty cinnamon strips. Go get the neighborhood kids and let's get some of these to eat. Let's see how they are. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, yeah. Mm. Memories of my youth. Well, folks, that's pie crust. Remember, a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. And this is pretty much a clean kitchen. Adios and yum, yum. Bon appetite, partner.